Hi everybody, March 23rd, Wednesday, middle of the week. Um, as like my my usual uh, groundhog day, I just got in from walking the dogs and giving them their breakfast and did a little work outside before it gets too hot. We're like way above normal here. It's gonna be like 90 degrees today. Um, it's like, I don't know if that's 20 degrees or something above normal. Uh, <laughs> Weather's getting crazy, you know. It's it. Um, it was it was great um, visiting second chapter of Acts yesterday. So I thought I would continue down that path and actually do some music from one of the solo projects I did with Annie Herring, who was the pianist and main singer in second chapter of Acts. And this was a solo album that she did call Through a Child's Eyes, and we did this back in 1976. Uh, it was produced and engineered by um, her husband, Buck Herring, and um, we did it at Sun SunWest Studios, which was right near the corner of Sunset and Western in Hollywood. Um, it's where we did I Am Woman and lots and lots of projects there. The studio's no longer there, as far as I know. I haven't been there in years, but... Um, uh, I think it was a big like strip mall type thing there now, uh, but it was great. And the arrangements on this were by the great Michael O'Mardian. Um, this was great. This was back in the day when Michael lived in Los Angeles. So I worked with him all the time. You know, when he moved to Nashville, um, I would do an occasional project with him when I would go to town. But in, in LA, we were together uh, quite a bit. And, um, and after um, Buck and the family um, left Los Angeles and they, ended up moving to Texas, where the project that we did, that I featured yesterday, we recorded, and then I did one after that when they moved to Colorado. Um, so they were uh, in, in motion all the time. Um, but Annie's fantastic, um, great writer, um, great pianist, and, and great singer. Um, so I thought I would play a few things from this just to kind of tie that whole thing a little bit together. Um, so the first song I'm going to play for you from the album Through a Child's Eyes is called Death After Life. And it's myself on bass, David Kemper on drums, Lee Rittenauer and Mike Dacey on guitar, Michael O'Mardian on piano, and Clark Gassman on clavinet. So here we go. Play a few of these little, little niblets here. Give me 
Michael O'Mardian, just a great arranger. These, so many of these projects, especially the contemporary Christian projects, really were really um, aggressively arranged and, and uh, uh, really, uh, they were really fun projects to work on. The stuff I did with Debbie Boone and all, a lot of different artists in that, but it was always like greatly, you know, beautiful orchestrations and, and uh, and this is really reflective of that time of 1976, this kind of uh, production. Um, what do we got here? Uh, this is a song... Oh, Jesus. I had this one in here. Let me see. I don't think I credited. Here. We got, uh, this one is called Some Days. And again, this one is myself on bass, David Kemper, on drums, Lee Rittenauer on electric guitar, and Mike Dacey on acoustic guitar, and Michael O'Marty in covering all the keyboards. So here we go, Some Days. of course commercial I'm going to start it again
Okay, I think I got one more here for us. Um, which one is this? And oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> looking at it, can't see. There's a big long title on this, but it, the song is just called "Dance with You." Um, and this one's a little bit different lineup. It's myself on bass, the, the great and, and tragic Jim Gordon on drums, Art Munson on guitar, and Michael O'Mardian on keyboards, Arp Fark, um, that's synth, and, uh, and percussion. So here we go. This is Dance With You, Annie Herring from her album Through a Child's Eyes in 1976. <laughs> fidelity and all these things too it's the, these are uploaded i think uh in, in onto youtube off of uh albums of, off of vinyl because you can hear the whoo, kind of going in the background every once in a while somebody's uploaded from a really scratchy record and you're in like the old days so that's annie herring and through a child's eyes and annie as i said was the um pianist main songwriter and singer from second chapter of acts uh, with her brother and sister, um, which I featured yesterday. There's, I've done other things with them, and I'll probably get to them at some point, too. Um, but uh, I think that, that, that'll, that'll do it for today, just a little introduction into her solo work there. Um, so I'm going to get going. I have a Zoom meeting in 20 minutes that I've got to I'll try to get this uploaded by then. Um, just my, as every day, my heart and uh, just goes out to the Ukrainian people who are suffering so immensely 
at the hands of, of, of an aggressor. And I feel so bad for the, the Russian people who are actually getting information and are protesting and being arrested. There's thousands that have been arrested for this. Um, and it was, it, it was interesting this morning, Ar Arnold McCuller, the wonderful Arnold McCuller, found a, a video on YouTube, I guess it's off of YouTube. Um, in 1987, we went to Moscow and played, a, a, there was a big peace march that went from St. Petersburg to Moscow. And, uh, and then there was a big concert at the end of it with American and Russian um, musicians on it. And I went over with James Taylor and it was, it was James Taylor and Bonnie Raitt and Steely Dan, I mean, uh, uh, Doobie Brothers uh, and Santana. And we all flew over together and played this concert along with d uh, Russian acts on it. And it was like, I don't know, 25,000 people at the gig. It was just in this stadium outside of Moscow. And it was fantastic. And I'm just thinking 87, there was so much hope in the air. There was so much, you know, talk of the future and all this. And it's just sort of just so shocking where we're at at this point, all of these decades later, all of a sudden, it's the worst it's been since World War II. So you just, you have great hopes, but um, they do get dashed, so... And again, uh, numbers are starting to climb with these new variants, so please be careful. You know, these, these people that are working every day in those hospitals and in other things, too. I mean, police, firemen, postal workers, grocery workers, um, restaurateurs, everybody who's dealing with the public is really uh, putting themselves in somewhat of harm's way because there's still a lot of people that aren't vaccinated that put everybody in danger around them. So thank you to all those people who are just so diligent about, you know, taking care of us. So thank you all. I'm going to get going. I will be back tomorrow. And, uh, and like that there, take good care. Bye-bye.